Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Belton Jasper, and I'm gonna talk to you about my vest. See my vest, see my vest, made from real gorilla chest. A battle vest is an essential part of a heavy metal uniform. I've got a couple of different ones, and I just wanted to show this one to you guys. A couple of key things about battle vests are First of all, it's a very personal thing. Traditionally speaking, you would put on patches of bands that you very much like, um, bands that you saw, that you supported in a way, bands that were important to you in some way or form. Also, you must never wash a battle vest. I will admit that at times I've left out my battle vest out in the rain overnight, especially after a particularly dirty show <laughs> or festival. I just wanted to share what's on my vest and why and play some good tunes. Several people will say that you can only wear patches of bands that you saw live. And I think that's a little bit unfair because there are definitely great bands out there that may have already split up before you get the chance to see them. But nevertheless, you really like their music. An example of that on my battle vest is obviously the death patch. So what do you see on my battle vest? Well, it is a bit of a mixture of genres, but it's definitely predominantly focused on thrash metal. Definitely the genre that brought me into metal as I discovered, you know, the 80s albums by Metallica as a young teenager in the mid 90s. It is not just thrash metal, obviously it got some classic bands like Venom right here. But you can see that, you know, with Metallica here, Metallica there, Metallica there, and then also Slayer, Overkill, Sacred Reich, Destruction, Vicious Rumors, and more sacred, right? There's definitely a lot of thrash bands on this metal vest. Also, obviously you need to have a Dio patch on your vest. If you do not have a Dio patch on your metal vest, how dare you? It's not all thrash metal. There is a ghost patch right here. Cue all the complaints by the real metal heads that ghost is not metal. I don't care, I think Ghost is fantastic. And right next to it, Melodic Death Metal or Viking Metal, Amon Amarth. And it's not only the big, big bands that I like to represent. For example, some black and heavy metal from Demon Tosh right here from Toronto. But at the end of the day, there is one patch on every battle vest that draws the attention, that shows your true colors from the first time that you see it, the back patch. In my case, it is Iron Maiden, Killers. So why is Iron Maiden and specifically the Killers album so important for me? When I was in high school, I don't remember what year, probably was junior high even. Anyways, I had a geography teacher. I would always ask a new teacher, like, what music do you listen to? What music do you like to listen to? Or he said like, oh, I like, you know, the old hard rock bands, it's like the Rolling Stones and Deep Purple. And I had just learned about Iron Maiden and so I was like, oh, and what about Iron Maid? And he said, oh yeah, I think I still have a record lying around somewhere. And I was like, oh really? That's pretty cool. And a few days later, we had another class. And, and so I walk into the class and he just pulls me to the side and, and goes like, hey, um, I found the record for you. And he shows me the record. And I was like, oh wow, that's amazing. And uh, he just basically looks at me with a smile and says like, you know what? For a hundred francs or something like that, uh, which is roughly like that two dollars, I don't know, uh, it's yours. So I was like, what, really? I remember just pulling out some change and giving it to him and taking the record and, and, and running to my locker and just putting it safely away. For me, this record became so special. It was my first ever vinyl record that I own. And you know what? I still have it with me. Um, when I moved to Canada, I brought it along with some of my other records. So yeah, so this is the record that I got as a young kid. And uh, that's really where my journey not started, but definitely 
accelerated. And therefore, when I started making my battle vest, there was only one back patch that could possibly, you know, tell my story. Anyway, again, a lot of classic thrash represented on my battle vest. Personal thrash favorites of mine are definitely Overkill and Hallow's Eve and definitely also Nuclear Assault and Exodus. But as you can tell from this battle vest, I like the German Teutonic Thrash a lot with Creator, more Creator, even more Creator, Destruction, but also maybe the most fun band to ever come out of Germany, the alcoholic metal thrashers from Tankard. But again, it's not all thrash metal. There's some classic hard rock or rock and roll on my vest as well. Every battle vest should really have an Ace of Spades patch for Motorhead. And then for me, one of the greatest bands of all time, Thin Lizzy. Alright, that was a quick introduction to one of my battle vests. If you're just getting started with a battle vest, I hope it gave you some inspiration. Make sure that your vest tells your story. And remember, the true metalhead doesn't ask anybody else to sew those patches on the vest. You do it yourself. Alright, so if you like that video, click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.